Hello everyone, Aaron here from Commander Kiwi. Today we are going to be starting our multi-part tutorial on making a whole room in 3ds Max to export into UDK for iOS. So first of all we're going to go ahead and simply open up Max. Okay, so now we're going to start a new MTC. Just okay everything. Okay, so what we're going to need to go to our customize up here. I'm going to go to unit setup. Now I want to make sure it's on generic unit because a 3DS Max unit is the same unit size as a UDK unit. So if you make a block 20 units long, it will be 20 units long in UDK. So once you have that set up, make sure it's on that and you're pretty much sorted for that. Um, we have setting up sort of 3DS Max, it's not going to take long to sort out. So um, really it's up to you quite a lot of this stuff. Um, but get your UI shown out. It's good to have these two bars instead of having one. You can do that by just making it bigger and smaller. Also, if you go to export, file export, and we're just going to just like anything you want. Just press, I'll make sure it's on FBX. Press save. And you want to go into here. And if I just load the basic preset, this is what it'll be like when you have it and these are the options that it will have. So, because we're making a static mesh, you want to go ahead and untick animation, minimize that, untick cameras, untick lights, and that's all done. Make sure you have smoothing groups, untick that, turbo smooth, um, tick tangents and binormals, untick this one, and tick triangulate. Now we're going to press edit, save preset, and just call this UDK static mesh. That way you can choose your preset. So if you ever wanted to make one for scatter images, which are different options, you can just switch presets there, so it's much easier. Okay, so we've more or less set up um, 3ds Max now, so we'll move on to the next tutorial.